Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about DocuSign and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you DocuSign a PDF? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video, not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna DocuSign a PDF? Well, that's pretty easy. A lot of the times when you are buying or selling online companies, there needs to be a contract in place and rather than printing out and scanning a document, many times people will accept DocuSign. It's just much easier, much cleaner, much more organized. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the DocuSign app. It's this black and yellow one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my DocuSign now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my DocuSign. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to DocuSign a PDF, that's really going to depend on if someone sent you the document or if you just simply want to DocuSign one of your PDFs. If somebody sent you a PDF that you need to DocuSign, it's pretty easy. You're going to get an email and you can just click on the email and then just click through signing, or you can open up the app and then click here into your inbox down here on the bottom right. Once you click in there, you will see all the documents that need your attention to sign a PDF. So you would just click on there and then follow the prompts to go ahead and sign that PDF. However, if you want to go ahead and DocuSign one of your own PDFs, what you're going to do is click on this blue plus button down here in the bottom center. Once you do that, you get two options. So you can request somebody else sign, but today we're talking about signing our own PDF. So you're going to click on this one, sign and send. Next, you can go ahead and pull up the PDF from all of these different functions. So if you have a piece of paper in front of you, you can go ahead and scan the document and DocuSign will make it a PDF. You can also upload the document from your files, your Google Drive, Drive, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, a lot of different services, and you can even pull it from your email here. Another cool feature is if you have a picture that you want scanned into a PDF to DocuSign, you can do that too. So here, go ahead and choose the easiest way to get that PDF into DocuSign. For me, I'm going to go ahead and choose my photos. Okay, so here you can go ahead and upload a photo and it will turn into a PDF for you to DocuSign. Again, it doesn't really matter where you get your PDF from, from one of those options we just looked at. So let me go ahead and just choose this right here. Okay, so here is my document. This is an image, but if you pulled up a PDF, it would be in a PDF format. And if you need more than one PDF signed, you want to click on this plus button down here. And then once you've added in all the PDFs that you want to DocuSign, you're going to click on done here on the top right. Okay. So here is the document. As you can see, it is a PDF document. Now you can go ahead and add other documents by clicking here. So once you have all the documents that you need to have DocuSign, click on this blue next button here. Okay. So here is our PDF that we're going to DocuSign. So down here, you can go ahead and check through all of these different features. If you simply want to sign sign your if you simply want to DocuSign your PDF, you can do a signature or initials. So just click on the one you want to use. So for example, we'll use signature. Okay, so you can see the signature is here and then we can kind of move it around to where we want. Now you can see the signature is kind of small so we can go ahead and open it up a little bit or you can shrink it down depending, let's see, we can put it right here in between these words and then you can go ahead and add your initials if you need to initial something and we can just move that around also. Same thing, you can go ahead and make it bigger if you want. Okay, so here's my initials right there. And then if you need to add other data, you can use these features down here. And then as you can see, my signature is there. So we've already DocuSigned this document. So we want to click on this blue next button here on the top, right? So here you can go ahead and automatically share. So if you're going through escrow because you're purchasing an online company, you can put email here. All right. Once you do that, then it's going to give you the option to go ahead and enter in email addresses. And that way these folks will receive a DocuSign copy of this PDF. Once it's completed, you can even add a little note as to what this document's for. So if there's an escrow number or some sort of a purchase number, so let me go back. Okay. So we know how to share it. And then you want to click on this blue finish signing. Okay. It's processing. Okay. It confirms that I have DocuSign this PDF and let me click on done. Okay. It brings me back here into my inbox. And as you can see, this PDF is now DocuSigned and it has a green check mark. So it's completed. Now what you can do is click into the document. All right. Once you click into the document, it gives you more information on who received it, who the sender was. And then if you want to see your DocuSigned PDF, click on this button here, view document. Okay. So here is the DocuSigned PDF. And as you can see, it has as my initials that we put here and then also your signature right here. You can go ahead and share it by clicking in here. Once you click in there, you can go ahead and save it or share it however you normally share your PDF documents. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to DocuSign a PDF, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.